Right, on to part two. Um, we're going to get straight into some correcting. So the first thing we're going to do is double click on our clip down here, bring it up into the viewer, and then click on effects, video filters, color correction, color corrector, not color corrector three-way. Uh, this brings up a color corrector tab. Here we are. Um, now let's analyze this footage. Let's take a look what's uh, what's wrong with it. We can see in the waveform monitor firstly that um, it's not really well exposed. The blacks are sort of up in the grey. And if we look at our glasses in here, they're not black, they're sort of sort of light grey, so it's, it's not really what we're after. Um, the rest of the shot looks alright though. So the first thing we're going to do is in our black levels, we're going to bring them down. Keep bringing them down. Now if we go and take a look in the waveform monitor, we can see that our black's resting quite nicely on black. And uh, the glasses in a hair of turn black, which is what we're after. Um, we're also going to bring the whites up just a little bit. Increase contrast. Um, that looks all right. We can see some whites reaching up into this area now. Um, now what this has done on the vector scope and with our color is it's given the whole scene a lot more saturation um, by widening the blacks and the whites. So we're going to grab our saturation slider and just take it back a bit, more to where it was before. So that's looking a lot better on the vector scope. Um, we can easily see with this little toggle switch here uh, what we've done, and that's definitely made quite a big difference. It's starting to look a lot more presentable. Um, now we've just completed what's called a primary correction in that it uh, affects the whole scene. Now we're going to do a secondary correction just on our um, actor's face here. So we're just going to load in another color corrector. If we go effects, it's got this handy little thing up here that comes up with the last effect that you used. It's going to click color corrector up here. Now the handy thing down here is this little little switch here. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. And this brings up a chroma key, which lets us just select the part of the footage that we're after. So we're just going to use a little eyedropper here. Go into the face. And now if we use this little key, we can see what we've managed to select. Um, so it hasn't done a great job. We're just going to widen the color range a little bit more and bring a little bit of feather, just a little bit of feather on. And we're going to take the luminosity, so the brightness, down a bit so we get all the shadow on the face as well. That's starting to look a bit better. And maybe bring it up on this side. Um, this just takes a sort of, you're just going to fiddle around with it until you get what you're after. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. Okay. So that's looking pretty good now. Looks like we've got the face pretty much in white. And it's also selected a few other things in our scene. Um, if you're pedantic, you could just draw a garbage mat around our actor's face and it would leave these bits out. But I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. So if we come back um, and see our footage, we can see that we've just got the face selected. Um, we can change it <laughs> any color we want, but we don't want to do that. Um, what we do want to do is we want to bring more colors up along this flesh tone line. At the moment they're not really saturated and they're sort of off to the side a wee bit. So um, we're going to grab the hue wheel, wheel and just bring it around slightly and align those colors a bit more up to the flesh tone line. And now to give them more saturation we're just going to bring our colors up here and we're just injecting more colors along the flesh tone line which you can see is present along here. And then we're just going to bring the saturation up a little bit. So now we can see what this has done um, by turning this one on and off. It's just given the, uh, given the actor a bit more color in her face and made her pop out from the background a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good, I think. We'll have to render it. And through the magic of editing, our clip is rendered. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's definitely looking a lot better. 
Um, if we go over to our scopes, we can see that we've got quite a bit of saturation along the flesh tone line, um, which is good. And the shot is pretty well exposed if we look in our waveform, going from black to white, and in our histogram, it takes up the whole uh, graph. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and that is going to conclude our color correction tutorial. There is a part three to this in which I'll be going over broadcast safe and a few other advanced features of Final Cut. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video, or you can catch me on realclever.com.